Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, we will going to discuss how to multiply polynomials of the form x plus or minus y times the quantity x squared minus or plus xy plus y squared. The result leads to a special product called sum or difference of two cubes. The quantity a plus b times the quantity a squared minus ab plus b squared is just the same as a cubed plus b cubed. As you can see here, the answer is just a given binomial and then we just put cube to each of the term. Now let us verify that shortcut using distributive property of multiplication. a times a squared, we have a cube. a times negative ab, the answer is negative a squared b. a times positive b squared, we have a positive, so plus ab squared. And then b times a squared, the answer is positive again, a squared b b times negative ab, we have a negative ab squared. Lastly, positive b times positive b squared, the answer is positive b cubed. As you can see on the result, there are terms here that can be combined. Negative a squared b plus a squared b, since they differ in sign, we will subtract them. The result is 0, so we can cancel them out. Another, ab squared and negative ab squared, they differ again in sign, so we can cancel them out because they will result to 0. What remains now are the a cubed plus b cubed. See, we got the result on the above equation. If in case the operation on the binomial is minus, then we should have a plus sign here so that the shortcut will work. Applying distributive property, we can still cancel all these four terms, leaving a cubed and that negative b cubed for the last term. So if you notice, if the operation on the binomial is minus, then the operation on our answer must also be minus. This a cubed minus b cubed is an example of a difference of two cubes. Both of the terms are perfect cubed and they are separated by a minus sign. If the operation here is plus sign, then what we have is a sum of two cubes. Remember, when we multiply polynomials of this form, the answer is a binomial. Its operation is the operation on the given binomial, and its terms are the cube of the terms of that binomial. Before we use this shortcut, you have to see to it that the given takes the form that we want. You have to consider that one of the polynomials is a binomial, while the other one is a trinomial. For the trinomial part, its first term is actually the square of the first term of the binomial, while the last term is the square of the second term of the binomial. The middle term is the product of those terms in the binomial. Take note also that the second operation of the trinomial is always plus, while its first operation is opposite to the operation on our binomial. Let's have some examples for you to remember that. The quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x squared minus 2x plus 4. Before we apply the shortcut, let us check if the given takes the form that we want. From the given, we have a binomial and a trinomial. Squaring x, we have x squared. Squaring 2, we have 4, that is 2 times 2. Multiplying 2 and x, we have 2x. We have a plus operation here. While the operation here is minus, which is opposite to the operation on the binomial. So the given takes the form that we want. Now we can use the shortcut. Doing so, we have a binomial. The operation is plus from the given binomial. We cube the first term on the binomial as well as its second term. 2 cubed will result to 8. That is 2 times 2 times 2. Therefore, the answer is x cubed plus 8. For our second example, we have the quantity a minus 5 times the quantity a squared plus 5a plus 25. Let us check if we can use the shortcut. The square of a is a squared, while the square of 5 is 25. The product of these two is 5a. We have a plus sign here, a plus sign also here, which is opposite to the minus sign on the given binomial. We can use the shortcut. We have a binomial. Operation is minus because the operation on the given binomial is minus. Now we cube the a, a cube. We cube the 5. 5 cube is 5 times 5 times 5. 
which is equivalent to 125. Therefore, the answer is A cubed minus 125. For our number 3 example, the quantity 2C minus 7 times the quantity 4C squared plus 14C plus 49. Checking on our given, the square of 2C is 4C squared. The square of 7 is 49. The product of 2C and 7 is 14C. We have a plus sign here. Also a plus sign which is opposite to this minus sign. Now we are good to go. We have a binomial. Operation is minus. Cubing 2C. The cube of 2 is 8. And the cube of C is C cubed. Cubing 7. That is 7 times 7 times 7. The answer is 343. Therefore, the answer is 8C cubed minus 343. For our trick, we can still use that shortcut provided that our given takes the form that we want. In this case, we have the quantity of 10 plus 0.1 times the quantity 100 minus 1 plus 0.01. Now, as you can see here, the decimals are quite intimidating. But if you will look closely, you will see that 10 squared is actually 100, while 1 tenth is actually 1 hundredths. The product of 10 and 1 tenth is actually 1. We have a plus sign here and a minus sign here, which is opposite to this plus sign. So we can now use the shortcut. Doing so, we have 10 cubed plus 1 tenth cubed. Cubing 10, that is very easy, as if we are tripling the number of zeros. So the answer is 1,000. Plus also this one. Cubing 1 tenths is easy by tripling the number of decimal places. So we have 1,000. Adding this is also very easy. We have 1,000 and 1,000. So we got the answer here by not actually applying the given operations and then multiplying the result. We just did the shortcut that we know because we have seen that the given takes the form that we want. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, click on the thumbs up. You may also check our previous video and do not forget to subscribe.